Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of our Irish Country Life here in the west coast of Ireland. Everybody should know me by now but for those of you that don't my name is Nikolai and together with Chris who's in the filming and the wee man Scooter we'd like to welcome you to the upstairs hallway here at the house. So I'm going to do you a little tour and I'm going to start off with this beautiful painting and I'd love to tell you the story behind this painting. Yes it's very different to the rest of the paintings in the house but we had a very dear friend in London um, who was a Greek lady from Cyprus who lived in London and her husband, Jack, was a fantastic painter. And I remember going to visit her because she was um, diagnosed with a cancer. And so I went to visit her one day and she told her husband, Jack, to take me upstairs to his art room and show me some of his most recent paintings. One of her paintings in her hall that I always admired was a painting of the lady with the pearl earring, which is a very famous painting. And he painted it so beautifully. And I always mentioned it to her anytime we visited myself and Chris for coffee. And she promised that one day, if we ever got married, Chris and I, that that would be our wedding gift, that she would get her husband, Jack, to do this painting. However, she must have forgot what painting I liked. And so he painted this one instead of the lady with the pearl earring. Equally as beautiful. And so we did get married five years ago in a beautiful castle over the road and she came with her daughter and what arrived exactly on the morning of the wedding was the painting which we had in the reception of the castle whilst the wedding was going on and it just took my breath away it was so emotional so it's beautifully painted and um, jack actually didn't sign it and i did say that he was going to return with sophie to sign the painting but since then, Sophie passed away, so she never did get to come. Um, but hopefully one day Jack will sign it for me. A few years after the other painting, which we got as our wedding gift, I then returned to visit um, Sophie and Jack and again went upstairs to his loft um, artist room. And this was just lying up against lots of um, canvases on the floor. And I said, oh, wow, Jack, that painting is really beautiful. And actually, it's a painting of a lady who was an artist herself called Bertha Morissette. Unfortunately, she didn't become famous until after she was dead like most artists which is i'm hoping what will happen with me when i die i too will be famous so this is bertha morissette and again painted so beautifully by jack and i went downstairs and i said to sophie i adore that painting and then a few minutes later jack came down and gifted it to me and then i found a very old frame on the internet which it now sits in and i just adore it i hope you agree it's a wonderful painting so nice to have something very different in contrast to the rest of the paintings in the house. Okay, so here on the wall we have this stunning bone with brass myrrh. It's Moroccan and actually we had this in our shop in Enniskillen for sale. And of course when it arrived and I unpackaged it, um, even though I chose it, I also said that too has to be for me. So here it is drawing the wall very, very graciously. Just one moment, I think somebody's about to call. Good evening, Heathfield. No, I'm afraid he's at tea at the moment. You have to call back later. Uh -huh. And here we have a lovely oriental cupboard with bamboo detailing on there and some lovely Famille Rose vases on the top. This is my cupboard that stores all my junk. 
everybody must have one. It's really lovely. Gosh, I remember when these all arrived on a crate. Now, finally, into this corner. When the Baroness, who was here before us, lived here, she had this as her prayer room. So she had a red velvet curtain across here. She had a little uh, settle here and also the chandelier, which is not electrified. It has candles, which we can light. And I actually want to reinstate this as the little prayer room. And it's got a lovely view over the garden and the cherry blossom tree. And um, so it would be nice to reinstate it. So I'd like to find a nice little pew that you can kneel down on here and with your rosary beads say a few prayers to the man above. So moving on, I'm going to show you this beautiful painting. It is a famous painting of Botticelli. It is in a famous gallery, but I'm not sure what gallery it's in. Maybe some of you who do know may put it in the comments below so that I can be educated on where it is. It's absolutely stunning. It's of mother and child. Then we have our cherub myrrh with our blue and white vases on the top. And again, a really, really elegant myrrh which fits beautifully in this corner. Okay, so we've come to the complete other end of the landing now, the opposite end to that, where we've got another beautiful window overlooking the courtyard garden. And this is my favorite Chinese cupboard, um, beautifully lacquered, a lovely design. And believe it or not, it houses my Louvre roll. <laughs> okay, I don't need to tell you any more about that. Bottles of bleach and Louvre roll. On top, we've got a collection of vases, and we've also got some bow dogs, etc., and a beautiful myrrh with the blossom and the birds. Really stunning piece of furniture, and I love it. Okay, so now we're outside Scooter's bathroom, in case anybody's getting confused as to whereabouts we are in the house. And I just want to show you this beautiful wall light with the silk pleated shade and the original dolly switches that were here with the house. So that concludes our tour of the upstairs hallway so let's go outside where I've got a couple of primroses that need planting and just to tidy up two urns outside the front door so come with me outside okay now that our Easter has finished we have to prepare for Greek Easter which is just around the corner so I've got some lovely primroses that I'm going to plant into the urns outside the front door I've refreshed the wreath with some lovely fresh heather and Scooter is driving me up the wall today because Harold, the pheasant, is calling. Every time he stops barking, he's calling him just to wind him up to make him bark again. So if he's barking continuously throughout the video, forgive him or otherwise I'm going to send him away. So we're going to prepare the soil a little bit and take out any dead uh, bulbs that were in there from last year. And this soil is lovely and rich. We'll just give it a, a quick turnover. I guess I should have done this for our Easter, but anyway, I didn't get time. I was very busy. So, so here we've got some lovely colorful primroses and we're going to plant them. I'm going to probably put four around the edge of each of these urns. I'm actually pulling away at some of the roots of this lovely boxes that's in here because it's been in here for years and it's kind of um, settled itself. Scooter, be quiet. So now that they're in, I'm just going to give them a light sprinkling of water. Just water them well, very well once when you first plant them and then the rain will do the rest of its job. And this is lovely rainwater which we've harvested from our water butt at the side of the guttering around the house. Okay, let's give this everything here a good drink.
Okay, so they look very pretty. That was just a quick fix, just to pretty up at the front door. Um, so now, you guys, I think it's time for something nice to drink. And I think today we'll have a nice Turkish forward slash Greek coffee. But technically speaking, it is Turkish because it's coffee I bought whilst my visiting Turkey. And a Gurebiede, which is a Greek biscuit. So we'll have half and half the Turkish coffee and the Greek biscuit, because I'm going to be killed for saying that by my Greek family. But anyway, okay, you guys, so now for our beautiful cup of Turkish coffee with our lovely Greek cookies, our gurabiedes. And I just want to show you, before I make the Turkish coffee, a lovely um, little cooker that I bought in Istanbul um, for making my Turkish coffee. And I just loved it. I fell in love with it when I saw it in the shop, so I had to make a purchase. It has got a two pin plug, but I have got an adapter to turn it into a three pin plug. So it basically has an element inside and it has a lovely little red stone and it has a dial for switching it on and off. So we will get our coffee prepared and we will cook it in our imbriki and we will pop it on to our little electric stove and then we'll enjoy a really nice cup of Turkish coffee. What do you think, Scooter? All you want is a gurabiede, isn't it? He told me earlier he's allowed to put on a little bit of weight now that Maggie has left. Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay, so finally, there is a truce between Scooter and Harold. They have agreed to tolerate each other. However, they will never be best friends. But... They have agreed to disagree on certain parts of the land. Scooter is going to draw up a land registry map and he's going to outline his part of the land. And Harold is not to come within the boundary of that. So that is the verbal agreement put in place. We will draw up a contract now and they will work on it together. In the meantime, Scooter's dear aunt Helen in London sent him a beautiful Easter card. However, it's come very late, so I wonder, did it come from Zimbabwe on a camel? However, it's here now, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's called Pugs Bunny. Isn't that so cute? We have been anticipatorily waiting the arrival of Scooter's Easter card. So, Scooty, tell everybody that you're delighted with your truce. Or maybe not. Okay, our coffee is boiling, so I'm going to pour it for us. Looking to get some of the nice creme on top, which we have. Ooh, that one's got lots of crema, so we'll put a little bit more crema on this one. Speaking to you, my Irish Greek accent, crema. Okay, Chris can have the one with lots of crema. We'll turn our little cooker off. And there you have it, my friends. A delicious cup of Turkish coffee with a lovely gurabiede, a Greek cookie with almonds inside. And don't forget, if you like today's video, hit the like and subscribe button. Please leave us a comment underneath and we'll see you very soon for another video. Take care, my friends.